Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Russell Stover, Stover Rabbits for you. Um, I have the white fudge, the milk chocolate. Dark chocolate, and this is a sour, and it is the green apple. Uh, so these were two dollars each at kroger and someone had tried to tell me hey there is a sour uh green apple and i said well it's not listed on their website no, we hadn't seen and it. uh <laughs> yeah we hadn't seen it it's like well why wouldn't they have put that on their website i don't know but i'm glad we were finally able to find it i also find it interesting that in the packages of like the itty bitties bunnies mm -hmm. they have three of the sours but that's no, not apple. one of them no it's and, like an afterthought yeah so it's like well i don't know yeah it's like it wasn't well thought out and why wouldn't that flavor be on the website and it's just odd um, and it's like you can only find some at this store and some at that store. You cannot find all four of them in one place. That's for sure. Um, so it's just like at least around here. No, it's it's odd. Um, so this is the white fudge rabbit. We've tried a lot of these rabbits before. This is a three ounce rabbit. That's why it was two dollars. Um, we've had like the toasted coconut, which I think is one of my favorite ones. The toasted coconut. We've had like cookies and cream peanut butter, caramel, but I don't believe we've had these, just these regular plainer flavors. We looked, we didn't see them. Mm. It's very smooth, creamy. Mm -hmm. I love that. It reminds me of almond bark a lot. The, um, there are three servings in the container. A third is 160 calories. You can eat the entire rabbit for 470 calories. Um, and the Russell Stover, the white fudge, I've said it before, it's my favorite. So anything good. that they take and put white fudge over it is going to be a hit for me. So it tastes like almond bark to you. It does taste like almond bark. I always thought it did. Um, it, it is very, very delicious. Um, if if it, you had a mold, matter of fact, if you had a rabbit mold, got some almond bark and melted it, you could pour it in the mold and make your own rabbit. Yeah, so, yeah, I really, if you've had almond bark. It's very um, good, sweet, vanilla-y. That's what it, it does yeah. taste like. So now this is the milk chocolate one. I don't know if I had just uh, the I know, that's what I'm thinking. This is normally we we uh, buy the flavors. So this is uh, one third piece is 140. So we went from 160. That's so good. that's probably why I like the white fudge. Everything that I like is higher in calorie, it's sweeter. So we've gone from 470 for the entire rabbit to 430 for the entire rabbit. How did you the whole head? I didn't oh, eat it. And I couldn't break off just a little piece. I had to break off the whole head. In the ears. Mm, that's good. It's a good chocolate. It's nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. It's a nice flavor too. It does taste like a very, very uh, sweet milk chocolate. You can definitely tell that that is milk chocolate. So you can see the color difference between the the milk and the dark. Well, so, the sun for too long. <laughs> so the um, the dark is actually more calories than the milk, which is unusual. Usually, it's not. So we've um, it is uh, the milk was four hundred thirty. The dark is 440. It's nice. It's not a bitter, really bitter dark chocolate. No, it's not. It's not too, too bitter. It, there is it's bitter. a little bit. It, I had much more. I think yeah. Hershey's Special Dark is more dark than that. I do too. I still do think um, you can definitely tell the difference between oh, the yeah. milk and the dark. Yeah, there's a difference. Um, yeah. Especially with the milk being 10 fewer calories, why wouldn't you choose the milk unless you just are, like dark chocolate. are that person who just absolutely loves dark chocolate? I think Andrew would pick a dark chocolate over milk chocolate. He probably would. And some things I would too, but this right side by side, the milk is just so much sweeter that I would just prefer the milk. Uh, they did a good job with the dark, though, mm -hmm. of course. That's good. Um, 
And if you've ever had any of their candies, then you've, you've, I'm sure you've had the dark. So now this is the green apple. Wow. And so it is new this year. It is green apple flavored white fudge with a sour kick. And it is as many calories as the white fudge. Well, it's pretty much white fudge flavored. It is the same. Uh, it's 470 calories, the same as the, the white fudge one. It's white fudge that's been flavored with sour apple. It's not bad. Well, it's definitely sour apple. It is. <clears throat> I like it. I don't know that I find it as sour as some of the other ones we tried. Mm -mm, no. You know what that reminds me of? It was a green Jolly Rancher. The apple Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. It I, reminds me of that a little bit. I think those have a stronger flavor. Though. They do. But it kind of reminds me of that tartness you get from those Jolly Ranchers. The sour ones that we tried were, uh, and we've done videos, the cherry watermelon and blue raspberry we've maintained throughout that the blue raspberry was mm -hmm. our very, very i still favorite. think that i still think that too it is so sweet um but they did such a terrific job with a, a strong uh raspberry flavor it was it was delicious um this one is good but as far as the sourness i honestly think this is probably the lightest one on the sour level uh, so it has a good flavor it's just lighter for me right. and the green apple flavor is a light for me we um I'm, i think i'm used to a little bit stronger of a green apple flavor i still like it but i just think this is lighter compared to the other three that they made yeah probably, i don't know that one the red one was pretty light too the, the cherry, cherry or watermelon the cherry, cherry i think, I think the, the cherry, cherry was, was a little light, light too. yeah um uh, so all of these, uh, they're definitely worth, for three ounces, they're definitely worth $2 a piece. Or okay. you can go to Walmart. I think those are one or one and a half ounces, and they are a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. So you can get um, smaller, smaller ones. This is kind of like a, a medium version. Um, out of the four, though, which one would you buy again? The milk. The milk. Um, You'd probably buy the white one. It's hard to it's hard to say. I, I, my favorite two are the the white fudge and the uh, milk. I would I probably would buy that white fudge though. Um, I, I really do like it, but my second is the milk. Absolutely, and the sour you really can't compare the sour to anything. And the dark's good for a dark, so it's all really nice quality. Mm -hmm. um, Have to know about the dark, it's good. But let me just say right now. If you get the opportunity to buy the toasted almond, mm. it is like toasted almond in that white fudge. It is, it's phenomenal. It really is. Have you, if, um, if, if you like coconut, then. Toasted coconut. What did I say? Almond. I'm sorry, toasted coconut. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Toasted coconut. Did you, I haven't seen because, this though. Have you um, seen this this year? No, Not I the saw, bunnies. I haven't seen them no. in the bunnies. Yeah, but, but the toasted coconut, you have to like coconut. But it's in the white fudge, and it has uh, the coconut pieces in it. It's delicious. It's so uh, that one is, out of all the rabbits there are, even the peanut butter and everything, that is my favorite, the toasted coconut. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you at the end. They, none of them have heads. Just none. No. We ate the heads. Just their bodies. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.